can have locks twisted this way. So if you ever started like that, even if you, if you do sponge rub, towel rub, any type of thing, uh -oh. yeah. water's turning green. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe. Today is a new day, and hey, we got a what? We got a banger. Let's go. All right, man. I'm excited because I'm about to show you how to do ACV rinse again. But this time it's going to be for starter dreadlocks, quote unquote. But really, I haven't started my dreadlocks in the back of my head. But um, it's basically the how to wash your hair in general. It don't I don't matter if you have dreadlocks or not. ACV rinse is really good for your hair. It basically breaks apart anything that is stuck in your hair that so can come out easily. Whether that is dandruff, buildups, stuff, dirt, dust, dirtiness, ugliness, crustiness, and bustiness at your hair. So why? not do ACV why not learn how to do it so watch the whole video hit the thumbs up man cuz it's gonna help you out because you're gonna be able to get that nice looking hair that you always wanted and dreamt of but at the at the same time you're gonna go through a, a hard time doing this cuz this thing is smell good this thing is not good for your neck cuz your neck be bending and all that unless you have like some comfortable stuff to go around your neck which I yet have to invest in that I should buy some maybe I'll, I'll do a review or something like that for ACV back leg I don't know send me some man if y'all watching this video and y'all can sponsor me go send me some right now cuz I'll do it for you but besides that today my wife you gonna be helping me out you know when my wife is in this video it's a banger given she should have she done the intro but she's doing something right now that's why she's not doing the intro and uh, I may end up doing it style after this so make sure you stay tuned and watch the rest of the video good transition no go back I thought I would have been cool all right I'm gonna show you out the back of my neck right now this is what it's looking like I haven't done anything much with it from last time I think I kind of like combed it out or something like that or try to do like a towel method so from then I haven't touched anything so if, you, if it looks dusty crusty busty it's because it needs to get washed and I probably need to end up lining this part up right here uh, what I don't want is have so much hair coming right here that looks disgusting down here I don't want that for roasting me in 2017 when uh, I featured on Gunther the Grace uh, second channel and my neck wasn't looking good so I mean, we're gonna use an ACV rinse to make me right but for the neck part we're gonna end up using some trimmers to trim the part up where the dreadlocks wouldn't be at so the future of course the goal is to have it a, a nice little taper in the down down here and then the rest of this to be dreadlocks so my dreadlocks is gonna be a high top going to a mohawk boom high top mohawk boom you know that's gonna be the new Watch is gonna pop too. Once I do it, yeah. So if y'all ain't hopping that stage yet, come on, hop in there with me right now. It's the best time to do it because then later on you wouldn't be like trying to catch up to everybody while everybody's ahead of you. So come with me. Hairstyles always revolve. Right now you've seen the mold it come back and all this different stuff come back. So yeah. Hello? Hi, Evan. Alright, y'all. What are you supposed to do? You know? Um, fill it up. Fill it up? With what? Hot water. Hot water. Last time I noticed this was like going down. Oh, sorry. I'll boil some water, right? That's another idea. If I boil some water? Boil? Yeah. It's hot. Put it in here? Yeah, it's gonna burn your hair. Good job. Um. But like, think about it though. If you boil the hair, or not the hair, if you boil the water, you don't have to wait for the water to get, especially if you live like in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Like if you live in Minnesota, it takes forever to get cold. You know, you mean hot? How hot, I mean. You know, out, out here, how it doesn't get hot fast? Yeah, no, it doesn't get cold fast. It doesn't even get cold at all out here. When it's winter, it takes forever to get yeah. warm. Yes. Forever. forever. Think about living in Minnesota where they have ice running through the whole thing. Well, when you go like this, water doesn't even come out because it's dry like ice. Dry as shut. Think about those things. Do you think about those things sometimes? No, I don't. Why not? Because I'm not going to move to Minnesota. Come on. Boop showing. <gasps> oh, no. Girl. Who's your favorite character from the Guardian of the Galaxy? Um, 
Guardian of the Galaxy? <laughs> like, oh, the blue guy. Oh, Drax? No. Uh, what's his name? His dad. What's his name? Ah! Uh, Alfonso. No. No. Alonzo. No. What is it? From the Guardian of the Galaxy? I think my favorite character should be Drax. Or Mantis. I'm just kidding. I think my favorite one is Rocket. Yondu. Yondu. What's Yondu's that? Yondu's my favorite. See how it goes down? Let's use boiled water. That was really hot. Okay, get your head up then. Uh, you put like medium sauce? Medium sauce? Yeah. Is it hot? Thanks, thanks too. Uh oh. Water's turning green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! You! I don't pepper. I don't love pepper. I don't love pepper. I don't love pepper. Can you grab my shampoo? Guys, let us soak for a long, longer time than what I'm doing right now. Lather. 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 Lather? Lather. Yeah. What the heck is that? What I'm doing. This is called lather. Lathering? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that. Then why'd you say what the heck is that? Just try to, try to challenge your knowledge around. You know what sounds yummy? I love your hair! So cute, huh? Yeah, so cute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I love it. Your hair is going to come back when you cut your dress. What? Who said I was going to cut my dress? I mean, when you're going to do whatever you're going to do to him? Uh, I don't know. I think it is. It's Maybe. so pretty. Look at it. I just, I could run my hand through it. Yeah, so nice. Yeah. Mommy, wash it. your whole head since I'm not. Yeah. This is the soap we're using. Can you see it? Oh, baby. Baby, mama. Oh, baby. This is fun. May need a retwist after this because I'm not being very gentle because I'm trying to get all the dandruff out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to retwist my hair for the next video. Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that in the hair hairstyle. Next week or today? Probably for this week video. I'm slacking my hands down. It's not good to rinse your hair with hot water because it can cause breakage. It's better to rinse with cold water. Come on, let them know. So we'll let this go down. Yes. And then we'll rinse it with cold water. Cold water is my life. Do you want to rinse this off in the shower? No, I don't want to get my whole body wet just because of this. Unless you film me, I'll do it. I'll film you. Okay, I'll do it. You ready? You put in a bun? No, I'm good. You're going to drip everywhere. No, no, I'm good. It's good. Man. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, you're ready, sugar. All right, you ready for me? So you want to twirl it like this so that you can have the consistency whenever you turn into rocks that you're gonna end up twisting it like this. And you can have locks twisted this way. So if you ever start it like that, even if you do sponge rub, towel rub, any type of twist coil, always go that same clockwise that you're doing it. But let's try counterclockwise, then do counterclockwise. If it is just clockwise, then do clockwise. So right now, I'm gonna rinse it in the shower. Uh, oh my God, you, what is that? That's just the color of my hair, guys. Calm down, let's go. Come in like that, and then you push this away, and then you put your hair in, and you use that cold momentum to get it. Woo! Dang, it's cold. It feels good though. Like sometimes heavy. Like, sometimes heavy. Like miss a cold water. Like. Whatever, whether it's in your mouth or in your head, pause. Ah, I got in my eyes. The soap. Oh no. Ah, my ear, I got it in my ear. The water. Ah. You look so different from back here when I can't see your dress. With like a different man? Yeah. 
So guys, whenever you dry your hair, rub it like this too. You want to have that perfect pattern going on. Just like how you do, just like how you do to get waves. You gotta lather it and all that. So you get that pattern. You do that with your hair too. I'm gonna show you how to put this together. So you put this around your neck, come in like this. Twist it, then you fold it back so you can raise your neck up and feel really good. There's nothing better feeling than to wash your hair while your neck is down like that and then you rise up like this. It's the best feeling. You grab your wife's towel. Hey! Dry your neck. That's the dirty part. You're, You're right in front of me. Where am I gonna go? Maybe if you step out of my way. <laughs> so usually I tuck this in so that doesn't come out in the back of my hair, but I don't want to tuck it in right now. I want it to just lift my head down. Lift my head down, put my head down, pull my head down. Back. All right guys, so I'll see you guys in my room. Thank you my wife for helping me out. All right, it's dried up now. Took to give it about 20 minutes. More than 20 minutes, actually. So, dang, it's still wet on the outside. The back of my hair is what I'm focused on. So this is what my back of my head look like right now. It looks neat, it looks clean. The rest of my hair started to fade a lot more. Like, you can see how much it's faded. And um, I need to still split, you know, after washing, of course, every time you wash your hair, you want to be able to split the hairs out so that it doesn't end up forming a Congos and different things like that. And my hair, that happens a lot to my hair. So I've had, I've had like two, three Congos formed out of just not being able to retwist it properly or at the right time, just right off after you take a shower. So it seems like I'm gonna do that right after this and also probably give my hair a hairstyle because I haven't had a hairstyle in a while. And uh, for that, you have to check out the next video. But this is all for this video, just to go over how to wash your hair while it's just at the beginning stage of your started dreadlock journey. I'm gonna show you guys in the future videos how I will turn this to a dreadlock. Uh, but for right now, it's only an inch and like some like an inch and some centimeters, so it's not there yet. It's not ready for it yet. Uh, if I get like an inch a month, I'll be able to do it by the end of this year. But if, if it's grow slowly, probably gonna end up getting an extension or so, and then uh, using that to make everything look like a one length which I will probably end up matching it to this. But we, I am yet to look for a sponsor for that. I know some company that hit me up a long time ago, so I'm probably gonna end up reaching out to them because I'm not trying to buy no extension because that's not my goal, to put extension forever. Uh, my goal is to grow up the back of my hair to where it becomes, to where it matches this hair. That's what my hair look like right now. It looks cool at the same time. I feel like it grows on me when I see it not being fully the same color. At first, I'm like, eh, that looks ugly. But later on, it starts to glow, to grow on me. So I think it's one of those situations. That's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit more about starting dreadlocks and, you know, growing your dreadlocks, washing your dreadlocks. And mainly, for this video, of course, starter locks. How we're going to get there and the goal for it. So if you guys are in the same journey, this is an encouragement for you guys to say, keep going, man. You got this uh, man or woman, girl, boy, let's get it, boy. Don't give up. This is not the time to do so. Even if you're going through the ugly stage, which I call rough days now don't give up don't give into it let's get it going let's get it popping if you guys more need more motivation and encouragement check out pineapple world that is a channel created just for your journey to encourage you and to motivate you inspire you and to build a community around people that are growing their hair and in the same journey as you so check that out on facebook page it's called pineapple fam and on the instagram page it's called pineapple world and uh yeah that's where your journey matters thank you guys for watching this video till next time keep acting the and creating your universe i'm active and i'm out peace god bless